What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the adventure. So today's video I'm going to be talking about the awning, more specifically the 180 degree 230 Peregrine awning. Now we've had this for a few years and I absolutely love this thing. It is probably one of my more favorite pieces of kit on the build. Um, does great in the sun, does great in the snow and the rain. Uh, we took it to Yellowstone and endured a pretty heavy uh, thunderstorm. Washington it did great, you know, there wasn't really much going on. Uh, took it out to plane for an overland expo, super windy, and with the wall kit that I got, not a problem. I tucked my tent in there and didn't have a single problem with wind blowing through there at all. As you can see, it ties down pretty well. Uh, the LST technology, which is what you guys are seeing here, is their light suppression technology. LST technology, the LST. Um, it really just keeps the light out, and it does a fantastic job at that. And it does a pretty good job about keeping the heat out. Now the frames for the arms are a box frame. Uh, they're made of aluminum. The pins that hold it all together are case hardened. They use brass washers and fittings and whatnot. So it's pretty robust on the way it's built. Now uh, they build some features into the awning to help prevent it from interfering with your lift gate or as everybody calls it in America, tailgate. And yeah, there's really no issues, especially for the canopy because it lifts up in the back. A uh, couple quick numbers. The mounting length of the awning is 81 inches. And, and when it's fully extended from the front to the back of the arms is 20 feet. And it extends six and a half feet out from the mounting point. And 83 feet, uh, square feet, roughly, give or take. Uh, so there's a substantial amount of space under there, especially once you put in the walls. And you can actually extend out the coverage a good ways. Uh, it's really just a phenomenal piece of kit, and I, I, we really do enjoy it. It's a must-have for us on any build that we do from now on. Um, but that pretty much does it about the numbers. It's pretty straightforward. A lot of their stuff's on there. There's a lot of technology that – I don't want to say technology, but there's a lot of uh, forethought that goes into it. Oh, yeah, the cover is a um, PVC cover, and they are replaceable. 230 sells them on their website, so if it ever gets damaged or anything, you can replace it. So where do I stand on the awning? How do I feel about it? What is my thoughts and opinions, my review, as it were, um, of the 180-degree Peregrine awning from 230? Honestly, I like it. It's a pretty good awning. We've had it in the snow, rain, a little bit of a sandstorm, and it's held up wonderfully. Now, I wish I would have had the wall kits sooner. Um, we got into a pretty gnarly thunderstorm in Yellowstone, and the walls would have been great. I really would have appreciated those walls. But we didn't have them at the time, so it is what it is. But now that I have them, I used them in plane at one of the expos up there, and there was a little bit of a wind coming through there, and the walls did great. They didn't buckle. Um, the guy lines worked just as advertised. I was able to tuck my tent in there with my fire can and keep nice and toasty. So honestly, wall kits are, a, for me, are a must-have for the awning. Uh, it just increases that capability like I talked about. Um, you know, they give you everything you need, the guy lines, the stakes. The one thing I would change probably is the stakes that they give you are just rods. I'd get some zero rotation stakes. It'll make things a lot easier. The wall, the guy lines won't come off as much. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Who knows? But, um, yeah, that's, that's really where I'm at. I would recommend this to anybody looking to get an awning. Uh, there's a lot of different flavors out there. A lot of companies using... A lot of different ideas, different materials, different structures for the arms. Some of them are really heavy, some of them are really light. Um, this particular awning actually has two flavors, a compact and a standard. We went with, or full size, we went with the full size because we got the F-150. Um, but the compact is, you know, pretty neat. It's lightweight, high speed, low drag. And that's really kind of, yeah, maybe on a different build I'll go with that, but I'll probably still go with the 23-0 just because I feel like the Aussies build a really great product and yeah over time we'll see how it does the stitching is my biggest concern and um, yeah how, how waterproof will it stay so we'll, we'll see but um, nothing we'll touch on the LST technology or the LST light suppression technology uh, does a really good job about keeping out the light does a pretty decent job about keeping the heat down inside the awning with the walls down you know, you can actually roll the walls up to help vent air underneath. So uh, 
you could play with it a couple different ways and see what you can come up with. So that's gonna wrap this one up, you guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, share the videos as much as possible. If you like the content and you're looking to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I post new content. Um, but there is more coming. I don't know if you guys can see me but or behind me, but there's some boxes to a couple of things that I'm gonna get on the truck. Um, some videos coming, so stay tuned for those, you guys. But until the next one, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you around. Thank you.